listening to the Getting Salty Experience podcast. What's up, my <laughs> bull bag friends? We are back. Welcome back. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> This is going to be a very chilled, relaxing, bowl breaking show tonight. The old Q and A. Look at PD stretching it out already. The old Q and A. We're back with the Getting Salty Experience podcast. We're bringing the kitchen table to you guys. It's the only one in the world. I think we discussed this, Pete. Right? We are now. Uh, we didn't let Louis on this. We're the self-proclaimed best firefighting podcast in the world, right, Pete? <laughs> I mean, self-proclaimed. So huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will say, I, I, I will say, I think we do have the biggest following. That's 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 a fact. Yeah. But uh, then again, I might be missing something. You know, so if there's another fo- a podcast with a bigger following, send it to I'm the just email. Say it. And it's I'll just take a the look. Best in the world. <clears throat> I yeah. mean, listen, I'll tell you what. Um, I had no idea about firefighting before this show, and I freaking love it. I love it. As a fan watching it, never mind that we produce it every mm-hmm. week and put all this effort into it, but I really do love it, mm-hmm. and I love I love our audience. I mean, I've done other YouTube stuff before, man. It's not the same. It just isn't, and I've seen other niches and groups of people. It's just not the same, bro. It really isn't, and this is the best best goddamn audience in the game, period. Oh, amen. Ruffy, how's the old uh, boathouse up there? How's the, the lake house? It's great. It's you been a little rainy the lake? last few days. Ooh, yeah, but uh, I went uh, went on the kayak the last couple of mornings, catching uh-huh. some fish, some smallmouth bass, and I uh, played some nice. golf today. So, you're living a dream. Here. Living the dream. You look like, uh, what about you look, the big? You look very bass? relaxed. He does. He looks chilled. What are you very smoking? Relaxed. To, you and little lady smoking to pot up there too. What are you doing? No, <laughs> <man. laughs> oh, look at that. Why wow. is it so quiet over there? Where's the rest of the family? They're all downstairs. Ah. I got you. I like you're not gonna, your head's You're not going to be yelling down there for the meatloaf, are you? <laughs> Mama, Rosie! Hey, Mama, the, meat- the meatloaf! <laughs> we want it now! Ma, the meatloaf! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> we haven't done that one since, like, uh, oh, for a while. It never gets old, man. It, it never gets it old. It never gets old. Yep. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right, Pete, before we yeah. get jump into this chicanery and this silliness, give us a little plug. Give us I a little wanna, shameless plug. I, I want to do something a little bit different today. Whoa, crazy I want to do man. something different. I want to start out by telling everyone, and I'll tell you guys at the end as well, but we're on iTunes podcast, Spotify, and all the places where you can find great uh, podcasts. And uh-huh. dudes, just go head on over there. This is free. This is the free portion of the show. Hit the like, subscribe, and share button. If you can share our show, get the word out. It always really, really helps us out a lot, guys. Also, um, if you're here at youtube.com forward slash getting salty experience, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button. Please. Uh, it, again, it's free weekly, um, and we appreciate the support. That's maybe one of the you biggest said ways. free, right? You did say free. <laughs> I did say free twice. Free, twice now. Free, free. I mean, what is um, it to call a friend and say, hey, do me a favor, watch these three idiots and yeah. give them a subscribe and a like, will you? Yeah. Yeah. The, the big hook nose producer. Well, you know, you don't have to watch him, but watch the other two guys. Um, the other guy with the five head. Yeah. <laughs> the guy with no hair. He's trying to become a six head. Um, all right. All right. So, anyway, guys, I just wanted to hit you with that first. Two more quick things. Guys, you know the deal. GettingSaltyApparel.com is where you can find all your favorite firefighter clothing, accessories, apparel. You name it. If you've got a firefighter in your life and if you'd like to support us and support the show, head on over to GettingSaltyApparel.com. And dudes, if you guys want to support us tonight right here on YouTube live and direct, hit us in the super chat, man. If you've got a question that absolutely positively has to be answered or no question at all and you just want to help us out, that really does really does Mm. help a brother out. So uh, super chats, GettingSaltyApparel.com. And guys, like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to keep saying it from now on in the beginning. It's very important to the show. And come up and see us in Syracuse. We'll be upstate, the New York State Chief Show. Me, Rufy will be at the boathouse fishing. He won't be there. Petey will be there. On deck, sir. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> bobber Pete will be there. Pete, <laughs> Pete the Bobber. And hey. uh, also uh, a young... Nick Kubler will be there with us. Young Nick. Mike Kelly's finally in the chat. Oh, 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 where Mike is he? Kelly. I was dude, a Dollar Tree puts in there too. I, I love him. Oh, I was gonna Tree text goes. him yesterday and say to him, dude, when do you think that your wife might let you I come back and watch? Today. I wanted to see if he wanted to come Mike back. Kelly back in there. 
Thanks to all the super chatters already. That'd be Mikey Kelly with the 103. And uh, then one uh, three. And our, the smoke. And one of our brothers from another mother. Hold on. Let me get his his music queued up. Uh, you know who this is. Jose Martinez. My God, brother from another chances. mother. There he is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right. Graham's in the saw. house. Heck. Oh, me and Jimmy Graham. I told Jimmy Graham, Captain Graham, that he's going to be my partner when him and I go running around looking at these old firehouses so somebody can watch out for the junkyard dogs as they're chasing me down the street. So he's going to be my partner in crime. And he's going to be Frank you don't want, you don't want Plus, Frank Molay? No, Frank's all down in Florida. So I you need somebody what? I need I'm somebody gonna... to boost me up to the window too cuz it's too short. I'm going to send you uh I'm going to send you some bear spray that you could spray yeah? the dogs. Yeah, maybe that'll work. I don't know, you know. I got I, I got me and him a headlamp so we'll look like two idiots and we'll be walking around. <laughs> I mean, like, this Captain Graham, give me a boost. Get me up into the window. So we'll be going to the old firehouses, breaking and uh, I mean looking at them. And checking them out. And Hank Bollet is in there, too. Yep. Hey, Frankie. I just <laughs> sent him. Is it the Del Poca Vista's over? Uh, listen, uh, I just sent him, not to plug my own shit, but, you know, firstdunutrition.com. Check it out. I sent him a pre-workout today, Hank Frank Bollet. So he can get those little buggy whips in shape. You know, those little arms that he calls buggy whips. <laughs> the little buggy whips that he calls arms. Oh, yeah. my God. I'm looking yep. for it. There it is. Firstdunutrition.com. And, Don't yeah, I got actually... I gotta put in my order too. I uh, I'm running out of uh, my uh, pre workout, mm -hmm. and I want to try yours. That's good. Yep. Hey, All right, let's get, let's get into the questions, bro. Tro, get right in there. Oh, and you know what? We uh, the only guy to send a a, a wives question was uh, Owen Mola. So if you want to see the wives on again, and you want uh, Grandma Ellie to come on the show. Send some wives questions, will you? Send them to Coop's podcast. Oh, Coop's, I wanted to show that uh, that quick video that was. Yeah, making, let's do that. Oh, first. let's do that first. Like a big, a big <coughs> fluff on the internet. Big okay, fluff. Okay, all right. Let's watch the video first, a and big then fluff. Let's see if anyone sees big, what we a see. A big kerfuffle. A kerfuffle. <laughs> Videos from Boogie Down Truck Work. Maybe we describe it for our audio listeners here. A couple guys. Uh, well, donning, their, we'll they're donning their face pieces. They force, they pop the door, keep control of the door, don their face pieces. The second scene is a guy who's throwing a portable. It's like a straight portable. He's throwing it halfway <clears> up. <throat> it looks like halfway up he's going to don his mask on the ladder. So a few <clears> fellas, a few people watching or listening at home, not watching. So what was, doing. what was the big... Kerfuffle that was going on, Ruffy. It was a conundrum. Oh, it was a conundrum? <laughs> I thought it was a kerfuffle. <laughs> it was a kerfuffle. I mean, I don't want to get too crazy. These, these guys, I, I swear to God, I can't even, I can't contain myself sometimes. I watch. Let it out. Come on, Louie. What's speak the it. matter with you people? What's the matter with you people? <laughs> what are you doing? So, what first you, of all, where was, was, it on, was this on Facebook? Yeah, I guess the guys threw it up. I don't know if it was. You know, again, it looks like it's cut. It could be that thing could be an hour long. Maybe put a couple of snippets on there just to show that the guys were drilling. Yeah. You know, the guys right away. The and whole then the thing. The quarterback guy? comes out. Where's this? Yeah, he don't have his hood on. <laughs> they did, they forced the door without their face piece on first. They did this. He went up the ladder before he put his mask on. He doesn't. He put his mask over his <laughs> his 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 uh, uh, hood. What's the matter with you people? Maybe What's they got to go to a couple of fires, and that'll straighten them out. That Come always on. weeves out. That always Can't weeds you just, out the, the first you. thing I thought of when I saw the thing was, hey, guys are drilling. Right. <laughs> that's that's the best yeah. part of the whole thing is the guys are drilling, right? Yeah. You know, and then Petey brought up a good point. You know, maybe that video wasn't meant to be like a teaching, you know, it just a guy took a quick, looks like a quick phone video mm -hmm. and threw it on the internet, right? Yeah. And – Guys were like it was like a feeding frenzy again. Well, the cancer again. You know, you know the other mm. thing is right. Yo, so hey, pull up what Mike Matter said. That's that's fucking classic. Foundation, foundation savers. Save if it's throwing shade. <laughs> <laughs> Never yeah. lost the foundation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen. So you know, the the one point before the show when we were chatting about this briefly was, 
you never can understand intention on the internet, right? Like it, it's if it's not exact, uh, explicit, like if someone doesn't write, hey, we were doing this drill and at the end of the drill is what we were really drilling or at the beginning of the drill, this is the part we were focusing on. Mm. Um, even like when you're doing jujitsu stuff, right? Like same concept, you may be working on one aspect of a thing that has mm. 10 pieces to it, right? So, you know, that's why I don't post shit like that on the internet anymore because everybody, everybody has a comment, especially in like the gun world stuff that I was doing for a while. Oh my God, everyone had a comment. Oh, but if you did it this way and then if you do it that oh, and then our guys arguing. Oh, the I comments. saw the guy. I ah. saw the guy. Do, do, you remember the guy that we had on who was doing the pirouette? The woman was in the window. Yeah, and he was yeah. doing the, the little pirouette, getting all his gear on and doing everything, you know, before. And then mm -hmm. some civilian jumped in and got the woman out. Right. You remember that one? Yes, 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 yes. All I'm saying is who who cares? Right. The guys are doing what they have to do. You know, every little aspect. I mean, I remember taking shortcuts <laughs> to, to to get to the main drill. Right. So who knows what the main drill was at that point? Now, yeah, maybe they shouldn't post something up. But if somebody posts something up quick, it, it doesn't really to me, it doesn't. Uh, I, I think you're focusing on the wrong thing, man. You know, you people are focusing even the other day on our, one of our pages. Somebody wrote something. Yeah, do something. Thank you, Mike. Do something. I used yeah. to say that all the time. Just do something. Yeah. Don't stand. Yeah. Do something. Yeah. Yeah. And he, uh, something on our page, they started going back and forth, tit for tat. And I had a right underneath there, like easy boys or steady boys, like mm. because it was, you could see it was going to explode. Like, you think you're going to change somebody's mind? I don't you know. We got to get better. The two you know, sides to this coin, we though. We got to get better. There's two sides to this coin, right? So while at the one, anything on the internet is up for fucking grabs and everyone's going to trash stuff and crap on stuff. So it's always a difficult thing. But on to, to people's credits for criticizing, if they're going to criticize, you know, you got that old Vince Lombardi coach, uh, uh, coach uh, saying, and he used to say, uh, per practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect, right? Because you, you do it as you train it, right? So maybe that's what some guys were getting at. But then again, that's my whole point. We don't know because everyone's sitting in there with their expert right. hat on. You know what I mean? Subject matter expert. You know, it should say SME on the freaking top of the head. And, you know, it, no one gives anyone room to breathe because people just want to be right. And that's what's the wrong part of the Internet. That's the worst part. Well, I think of the that internet. that's what's a con. I mean, thank God it doesn't. I mean, we really watch that because I don't want it to become that. You know, we're not here to have that. And I don't want to talk, you know, again, yeah. we, we try and discuss it in a good way just to get guys on the same page. Because in the in the end, it's it's more important for everybody to be on the same page. Yeah, should the guy, you know, is he supposed to force the door with his mask on? Yeah, I mean, I you know, I'm sure half the guys in this, in this chat or in this room, you know, I was saying, I used to go up the ladder, go in the window without a mask on, and then put my face piece on, right? Right or wrong. That's what we did. Right. But, yeah. you know, I just think that, uh, you know, you got to have just, just back up a little bit. Sometimes you don't have to be that guy. Do you have to be that guy all the time that, that you, you know, more than everybody else? Do you have to always be the guy? People make just a living off of that on the internet. Delete Louis. it. When yes. you type it out, just delete it yeah. and you'll be happier. Trust me right. in your life. Right. What do you think, Kev? <laughs> I think that Ken said, if you put it on the internet, just know that there are assholes out there, and there are people who the the right, you're going to get reviewed. I get internet, it. The internet has given every asshole a fucking voice. Mm -hmm. They don't even have to have done anything or accomplished a goddamn thing in their life, but all of a sudden they're experts. You know, so that's what the thing is about about the internet. They could sit behind their fucking keyboard, cool. and uh, if you did everything perfect. There's going to be somebody who's going to find something that they, they don't yeah. do it that way, or your way, yeah, or right. my way, yeah. or your sister's way. Yeah, but the, the guy at the bottom, the guy say, well, you know, I should have put the, uh, uh, I, I would have put my uh, face piece on here. That's the guy who throws the ladder up and walks away. He don't even go up the window. Yeah. Jump in Nobody's butting the ladder, right? Yeah. You could have said that. I could find a thousand things on that fucking who video. Gives a shit? Yeah. I wasn't dick at any of those things. Right. The guys who have the, the most to say are probably, like I said, the guys who aren't even, uh, those are the guys that you bump into going the other way in the hallway. And you go, what the fuck are you doing? Excuse me. <laughs> Right. You go the wrong way. Way, <laughs> and the <laughs> truth the, the truth probably is that you could have a hundred arguments for why 
not everything, but a lot of things why, yes, you can do this this way, and you can also do it the way the guy did it, right? Like, you could do it this way or that way, right? Sometimes it's one of these, and like, no, 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 no. Actually, one of our questions has that um, vibe in it. So, you yeah. know, give people a break, especially in this community where it's a brotherhood, yeah. you know? You know, my famous saying is, right, sit down and have yourself a nice cup of Shut, Shut the fuck, the fuck up. up. There you go. <laughs> All right, Pete, let's go, baby. Uh, you know, uh, 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 there's some good, great comments already in the chat. I love these guys. All right, first question coming in real spicy and shit hot from the emails. Yep, yep, yep. Mm, Hello, Jen. I got this one for you, baby. You did? Yeah, he likes controversy. Coob's loves up. Uh, which is, you'll see. Hello, gents. Uh, here's maybe a spicier question for you, which we like. Thank you. Uh, it's no secret that the firehouse kitchen table is often filled with various discussions regarding home life, hobbies, and even politics. Being that you guys served in FDNY, uh, with NYC being a more liberal leaning area, how was the general layout of political belie pol uh, beliefs around the kitchen table? Not that this really matters, because at the end of the day, what matters is doing the job. Uh, and that's coming from Shooter120. The Shooter. He's in it all the time, baby. Shooter. Shoot, uh, I got to say, most of the guys that you know were, were conservative, you can always pick out the lib. You, we always find them. This is the lib finder. <laughs> and uh, a lot of guys who wouldn't say nothing because they don't want to get pounced on. You know, So they really wouldn't say shit. But it gets heated sometimes. There's a, there's a decent amount of libs on the job, you know. Some are vocal, some aren't. <clears throat> so, I mean, just ask Chief Steve. Uh, you know, start, get, <laughs> sit down and start talking about Hillary Clinton. See how where he stands. You'll see. <laughs> Fox, Fox News. I, I remember I, uh, before Trump got in, you know, I was not into politics at all. And, uh, you know, Fox News was always on. And I'd be like, don't you fucking, don't you have anything else to watch? Is there anything else? Go, go do something else, you know? And then, of course, when Trump got in and everything started blowing yeah. up, you know, it was even more, dis you know, either he were, there was nobody in the middle really anymore. It was either one way or the other, and uh, which is unfortunate. But It's part of the world we live in, though. Yeah. Like, I mean, most of the time when flag, you walk in the... Yeah. This flag over most my shoulder the time you right walk now into the is highly controversial. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Fox News is on most of the firehouses in the, in the fire. Uh, on right. TVs in the firehouse, so right. that's basically where they are. But I mean, that's just the freaking world we're living in, dudes. It's it's insane, you know. It's insane, and it shouldn't get in the way on the job. But I'm sure you guys have. You guys ever gotten into the like, you know, a nose to nose situation <laughs> over something like that at the table? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did. I got a guy. Uh, I, I want to be careful how I phrase this. Hold on a minute. <laughs> He was the head of the Vulcan Society at the time, and he was working a detail in the hazmat. And we got into it a little bit, and I told him uh, I was a businessman, and I had businesses on the side. And he told me that something along the line that I didn't build it or I didn't deserve it because I, I basically, if you built your own business, you were stealing from somebody else was his reasoning or the way his thought process was. So, you know, so much like Obama's was, you know, when he said, uh, you didn't build this, you know, the government built this, you know, no, I built this. I didn't steal from anybody to build my business. You know, I built my business from scratch. I made nothing. So just like me and Louie built this business, we didn't take from anybody. We didn't steal from anybody, but that was his, his, uh, his frame of mind and his reference point of thinking was, you know, that successful. If you make it, you're making it at the behest of somebody who you're stepping on to get that way. So it went kind of sideways, and then we kind of left it alone. That's that the neo-communist, neo-socialist point of view, though. That's the problem. And they've been, unfortunately, that's a product of the education system and uh, the uh, the entire, you know, the entire welfare state. What did, what did Milner want to talk about? Martinis. Thanks, Milner, for the five bucks, buddy. Yeah, Martinis. all right. I got my little Tito's right here, baby. I mean, that's as political as I'd want us to get on this show, to be honest with you. Just note, I have family and friends who are in every freaking category, and I once was on one side of the uh, fence, and now I'm on the other. What so Milner said. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Hey, Susie. How's it going? Glad to see you're alive. Hello. Yeah. Hello. 
Uh, All right, Pete, let's change, let's change gears. Let's get out of the politics and start drinking about talking about drinking and ball breaking and uh, <clears throat> All and right. Mike and Mikey Milner's gefilte fish. <clears throat> Mikey Milner, we had we, who we had the pleasure of hanging out with at the uh, the Long Island Very show tonight. Good times. Um, okay. With his long <clears throat> ponytail, you would think that he was a lib with hippie. the way he looked, hippie Freaking looking. Hippie. Yeah, man. But some he's days I think he is with his uh, with his posts on Facebook. You know, he's no. very he likes, he's he, very, likes to, he likes to he likes to throw the, the grenade. Puck. That's all. Does he he just likes the grenade. Yeah, he's yeah, poking the bear. Poking the bear. He's yeah. a big poke in the bear guy. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right. Here we go. Next question from the uh, emails. It's hello, my brothers. Happy Fourth. Please be safe. I have a question. I've noticed on YouTube videos most chauffeurs start the rig with all the lights on. I was taught start the rig. Check motor gauges, uh, master switch for lights on, go. Uh, it is less strain on the batteries to start the motor. Any thoughts? Just curious. Hope NY Chief show was good to you. Uh, love love your show. All the best from Wally. Hey, M. fuck a Wally M. Hey, Wally. <laughs> hey, fuck a Wally M. I just uh, was taught to, to always start the rig with the lights off, like you said, to do with the battery. But for me, it was a mental check when I got in. That way I knew if I turn – Start the rig and turn the lights on. I know I turn the lights on, but if I if I think I have the lights on and I roll out of there thinking that I had them on, then my lights aren't on. You know what I mean? It's like I had a, a, a mental check of things to do when I got in the rig, so that was one of them. So that's yeah, why I, think I always... just leave everything on, so it's one less thing to. They turn the perco, <laughs> and uh, that's the you know they don't have to do anything. They just start the rig, you know. So yeah, it all depends. But I don't know. I, I don't think know we the... all learned like that when we were over there. I don't know. We all shut it off. Turn it on and drive, Mike said. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> drive fast, take chances. <laughs> and the rig also gets slimmer the faster you go. I like that. Mm, one that's the most. it. Word. Nice. So, so you uh, have you ever had an instance, Kev, where you started the rig and there were issues like that with the with the battery because of the lights or forgotten the lights were on nah. or something like that? No, right. No, I've no. I've had guys that that happen with. It. Where I was, yeah, in, yeah. When I was an officer, and that they had to reset, you know, shut everything down again, shut everything, you know. What about hitting the lug nuts on the side of the firehouse? <laughs> I'm just saying, just asking that. Was that ever an issue? Uh, I got out fast. That's for sure. <laughs> they, 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 his nickname was Louis Lug Nuts. Did you know that, Pete? <laughs> no, I have no <laughs> idea what's going on here. Tell I'm me serious. about this. They used to call him Louis Lug Nuts because he used to bash the lug nuts on the side of the firehouse. Jeez, trying to get out. Quick. We had these chrome caps. That were on the lugs. Gotcha. You know, they were just they were decorative. So when you come out of the firehouse, at the bottom of the firehouse is is the two humps, so that you don't hit the side. Basically, you don't hit you would hit the, the bottom gotcha. of the tire, yeah. and you wouldn't hit the rig on the wall. So gotcha. depending on how somebody would back it in, sometimes it could be off. You know what I mean? So you always yeah. had to really. So uh, I always used to hit that the one side, the officer's side, when I was making a right turn out of quarters. I would. Hit the lug nuts the on lugs. that side. Yeah, <laughs> I blew out. In the a tie. end, I ended up taking them all off because they were all deadly. <laughs> yeah, I blew out a tie one time. Like my wife came over. Oh boy, oh boy, look at that! You're supposed I to love be the when one. He gets frozen like that. Look at how he looks. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. I hope he didn't lose like the whole system, and we're gonna have to wait like ten hours for him. Oh, me? Uh, I'm frozen. Yeah, oh, your, your yeah, face frozen. is frozen. Oh, now you're back. Don't look at you. I'm back. Dude, right. please, for the Why? love of God, you make Why? good money. Can you please get Verizon? <laughs> for fuck's sake, man. How hey, many somebody, times? somebody, would you? I, I mean, even I got it. Fixed income, you motherfucker. <laughs> fuck you. I, you <laughs> have an income. Today, right? I have no income when I got Verizon. What the hell's oh, wrong with you, man? Go get, get a, a fucking job. Shit. I can't. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm trying to switch my internet. <laughs> All right, fuck. switch it, you Martha. No, man, yeah, Martha. A, a paycheck to paycheck, bro. You know what I mean? This guy. Fixed I'm income, gonna start bro. calling you Gaylord. Only a mother could love that face. Gaylord Martha Fox. Right, so can I tell my fucking story now? Yeah, tell All right. So my wife's got the whole family there, a whole fucking lineup of fucking Asians sitting there, bro, and the bells go off. <laughs> it's a fucking job. I'm like, look at me. I get to look like the fucking coolest dude in the world. Why right? are you cursing so much? I go flying out the door and I bash the side and I get a flat tire. And there we are going to the block. <laughs> he was waiting. Flat there. tire. <laughs> flat tire going down the block. And that was it. Yeah. I was like, oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, oh, what's going on? 
This is, he's not such a good driver. He's oh, no. <laughs> yeah. no he's, got such a, he's got such a big muscle. Oh, oh, they, so nice. <laughs> <laughs> they, right. they don't really talk like that. But uh, I got <laughs> a... Uh, I, I got like a, the truth uh, getting away of a good story. That's right. I got a, I got a question from uh, Greg Regan in the Go. chat. He's, a, a, he's asking... What does a chauffeur use as a calculation on hose pressures, hand lines, and pressure for the high rise? I was thinking that it, it's people yelling over the radio. <laughs> we but, need more pressure. <laughs> you're asking me to remember about seven years. Uh, what was it? 20, it's, 20, uh, 20 pounds per, for two and a half. Uh, yeah. And then uh, 78 for the nozzle or 80 for the nozzle, whatever it was. 70, 80, 90. 70, I don't remember, dude. I don't remember. What, ask, I mean, ask, ask a good engine man, and I don't remember. Hank, <laughs> what, what do you got, buddy? Um, all right, another I'll one. I'll bet you Chief Cleahouse knows. Oh. Is, uh, yeah, 185 gallons per minute for two and the inch and three quarters, 250 <laughs> gallons per minute for yeah, it was 20, and a half. 20 pounds for two and a half, and it was. That's friction loss, and uh, oh, 20 pounds per length. I don't yeah, remember. That's what's help. I'm going to go to the help button. Somebody call help. All right, hold on. Yeah. Soma in the chat. At the uh, NY, how many years you guys had on the job? He keeps trying to bait me. FDMY on the job. How many years did you had you have on the job, bro? Why is that a pertinent question? Just curious. He keeps asking. I'm not, you know FDMY. what? FDMY. Maybe it may just there. be it may just be an honest question. How many years? What difference does it make? I don't know. I don't know, about? but he keeps asking it. How, I don't know. Some guy in the chat keeps saying, no, "How many years?" You, well, I'm asking you guys. How how many years have you guys had on the job each? Forty-two. Good. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> fucking maniac. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, Pete asked the guys. Enough please. to both be retired. Yeah, exactly. Right. I see a lot of FDNY guys putting their face piece over their hood. What's the pros versus cons of this instead of putting on the face piece and then the hood like most other departments? I try both ways. At different times, I like different ways. Sometimes I like having putting the face piece on over my hood. Sometimes I prefer to to put the, the face piece put on. It, the I never put the face piece under my hood. Now, because of the seal? Yeah, I just no. I, I mean, if you wanted a better seal, <laughs> then you should have had. You should definitely have. Uh, then you should have your face piece and then your hood over it. Correct. Yeah. I never liked to keep it like that. So because it was just a pain. You know, I, I just never liked it that way. So if I felt like I would, I really never wore my hood. But if I did, then I would put my hood up and then put my Chief face piece over that. What's he saying? Just turn the handle some more. <laughs> yeah, Chief Cleahouse said, "Just keep turning the knob." <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kev, you're, good. You're, you're, you're blinking in and out a little bit on the on the image, but we hear you. Okay. All right. I'm gonna... you, you want, yeah, you want me to come out right. and come back in? I mean, you're fine. You're you're fine. Right. Don't yeah. don't come out and come back in. Right. Just uh, go ahead. All you right. know what you do? Just tomorrow, you know, you dial up Verizon and you just get the fucking Verizon. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So uh, here we go from the. <laughs> from the, from the emails great no. show guys we enjoy your pot we enjoy your podcast and have a couple of questions we are civilians that are finding firefighting very interesting to say the least my question is how does the crew know when to take an inside attack to an outside attack and what signs do you look for and then the other question from the wife karen karen um, no, we got rid of that one. No, I have it somewhere. You Hold do. On. I do. I do. Karen. Some of it. Oh, I got it. Here it is. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. It's such Karen. A there it is. <laughs> it's okay. Karen. Karen. All right. So, Karen. Karen's question. Karen is similar. Karen. How do you know when the floor and or the ceiling is compromised mm -hmm. and the crew needs to get out? So. The two questions are, how do you know from to move from inside to outside? And what signs are you looking for? And how do you know when the floor is uh, or the ceiling is compromised? And this is coming from Steve and Karen, Karen Pozzolo so from Chief Shelby Township, get out. Milwaukee. Hey, yeah, Pozzolo, when the chief tells you, get out. It's time to get out because no, otherwise the guys aren't getting out. Unless you, you know, unless the shit is on you jumping out windows, of course. But most of the time, you know, the chief will tell you, everybody out. And, and it's, it's at with great hesitation, guys. I'm not leaving. Usually the chief will tell you three or four times to get out, and then they'll stop backing out lines. It's seven. Oh, my God! Yeah, when you hear like that, that, 
Yeah. And when you hear that, is, the, is yeah, it time yeah, to come yeah, out? Yeah, 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 yeah. When the floors yeah, start to sag, sometimes the floors will sag, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. they get a little spongy. Does anyone sick. call that over to the chief uh, on the radio? Like, like Lou, would you would you call That's, that in? Well, no, anybody. That's I mean, part of uh, what do you call it? Isn't it urgent message? Is uh, urgent. You should any time anything that's really dangerous to to other members. You should, you know, whether it's yeah. a potential collapse, whether it's a spongy floor, a hole in the floor, <laughs> you know, whatever it is, you should always give that information out to to the to the guys on the scene uh a, a real uh, awesome russian guy in the chat named mickey mcmurphy uh, oh. says when your boots feel like jelly sandals that's when it's time to get out <laughs> whoa, whoa. hey mike kelly wants to know Lou, the job you had with the we had words neither confirm nor deny with the chief was it 90 delayed because the rig wouldn't start that is correct oh boy oh that time when you were in 90 when that happened i thought you no, were in the i was truck. in the truck no i was oh. in the truck but the engine, we waited for they were first due, so we waited for them. We were just about to leave without them, and then they finally got the rig started. And uh, we just beat the second due companies in there. Ah. Um, but uh, it was a young guy ah. in the engine. It was a covering officer in the engine. And, you know, the fire was in the rear, it looked like. And uh, so we didn't give the 1075 right away. And then that's what happened. We went up. You know, into the into the building, onto the second floor in the rear, and it was a good job. And uh, so we gave the ten seventy five, but the guys were already, you know, the chauffeur, the truck chauffeur. I had, you know, they were already doing stuff. So <laughs> it got delayed, and that's what happened. Fucking right, <laughs> Ray, Ray in the chat. Yeah, you like your old lady's box. Floors get saggy <laughs> like your old lady's box. Yeah. Hey, her, her, <laughs> her body it hangs down like a wizard's sleeve. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see if my buddy uh, MC's uh, audio is yeah. asking a question. Yeah, Stop he's asking if, uh, yeah, if you're a Mets fan long, and uh, what's your favorite Mets of all time. Right, right. I'm gonna ask Ru Ruffy, seeing that he knows me for forty something years, who's my favorite Met of all time? Hmm. I'm going to say it's Keith Hernandez. No. I Dallas bet you Strawberry. Steve would know. Yeah. Bing, 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 bing. I, 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 was, I was going to say Dallas Strawberry, but. Oh. Dallas Strawberry is my favorite man of all time. Yep. You know who my favorite was? <sighs> Keithy Clutch. It was. Eh. I'm going to go with Mookie who? Wilson, man. I like Mookie. Mookie? Yeah, man. Yeah. He was hustling down the line the time hustling. when Bill bucked his legs, baby. Yep. Yeah, I, I, someone said Mr. Matt Jose. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Pickford. That's Vinny Pickford. I, I only Pickford, we used to call him Mr. Met because he had a huge head. We call him Mr. Met. <laughs> I, I, I like. Uh, I work with the Mets. Uh, I've worked with the Mets a lot over the years, and they're the best organization to work with. Uh, the Yanks suck, um, and so uh, the Mets. Mr. Met is the best, and my favorite oh. Mr. Met was the one that flipped the middle finger to the uh, someone breaking nice. his walls in the crowd. That nice. was the best one, and they fired the poor bastard. It, you know, there's like five Mr. Mets and like five Mrs. Mets. Yeah. Oh. So they got a. If you look on the Daily Mets. News uh, website somewhere, you'll see me playing one on one basketball with Dow Strawberry in the firehouse. No way, dude. Yeah, man. Yep. Oh, now somewhere. You see, I wish I would have known this before the show. That's Him amazing. and Tom Seaver both came to the <laughs> firehouse at the same at the same time. Tom Seaver and Dow Strawberry. How about Piazza? What do you got? I like uh, Piazza. Piazza was good. He was a good player, man. Yeah. But yeah, Mets. Yeah. People said the worst stuff about him. They're such animals, fucking fans. Um, all right. Let's yeah, see. Patty Ely, that's probably uh Ralphie Longo banging on the siren. <laughs> Patty wants to know if there's a new lieutenant over there. It's probably Ralphie Longo. Susie, Susie, Susie in the chat is saying the Yankees are the best. And I'll tell you, Susie, they're out. working, they're working for out. the Yankees. They blew B L O W. Out. Buddha, yeah. Buddha. Yeah, she, could, she could stay, although the, their organization is the worst to work for. One Absolutely horrible. They treat you like total shit. The Mets welcome you welcome you in. Anyway, uh, right. here's one coming in. Another Wow, we're only halfway through the questions. We're talking a lot of shit tonight. Uh, uh, hey, Luke, have Pete. Uh, I have a question for you, boys. What was it like riding on the back step or in the jump seats of the old Max? I'm a volunteer firefighter here in Berks County. You're Warren, uh, the Brooklyn dispatcher here in Pennsylvania. I guess he lives near Fuchs. Mm. Uh, I love listening to the podcast and learning stuff about the FDNY and the NYC. Uh, mm. In general, stay safe. Brian Keller. We had the jump seats in the squad rig. We for, uh, the Mac, when we first became a squad, right, Ruff? Those jump seats? Remember yeah, you but he's, I think he's kind of talking about the open 
That's when I yeah. think of that, I always think uh, about the open I think some of the jump seats thing. that we had, you couldn't put your your mask on. You had to stand up because there was no place for it. Remember, in the uh, in the seat, it was uh, it was on the uh, engine compartment. So you had to, if you put yeah, your yeah, mask yeah. on, you had to stand up in the rig. You had to get out of the way because the guy was getting out in front of you. Mm -hmm. Same thing in with the other with the other uh, rigs. The open, I, I had the open rig towel ladder for with the. Uh, Tenant Lee for I don't know maybe like two years. Most of the time it was a spare when I first got on, and then we got the '95 towel ladder, and yeah. uh, the guys we took the top the, the the roof off of that, and the guys used we used to sit on the, the uh, not responding, but we used uh -huh. to sit on the turntable all the time. Look at Chief Kubler; he even said it. Ruffy, how could you not know your boy's favorite Met? He knew. I bet you I Chief know. Steve I knew it. I knew it. I would, you know. Mike Kelly's right though. Remember those diamond plates on the Mac? Fucking burning your hand on that bad boy. You'll put your elbow on it. Like, ah! <laughs> yeah, used to put the shrimps. Used to put shrimp under that, like, <clears throat> right. So yeah. the guys wouldn't know. It would stink, you know. For uh, you know, you, I think we did that to one fifty four. I think this is Chief times. Steve's Chief Steve's first uh, appearance in the chat, isn't it? Wait, where is he? He's in the chat. In the chat. Oh, yes. Stephen Kubler. Very yes. nice. So I, I know what I that, that means, Pete. Oh, ho, ho. Yes, Chief sir. Steve, it's been a while. I'm Chief Steve, and I'm out sick. That doesn't mean you can act like a dick. Be a professional is what I say. Don't be an OT slut while I'm away. I might be limping around at home, but I can check your hours. I can use the fucking phone. When I'm gone, you'll miss the love between us No matter what, my brother's still a penis And I'm Chief Steve! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, that was one of the guys, Wait, I think it was Mike Matten said happened. All right, Coops, who's Lou's right. favorite ranger? <clears throat> Lou's Ooh. favorite ranger Better be Sean Avery Nah I love that guy uh, Brian Leach. I'm gonna give it. No. 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 Mark I'm Messier. I'm gonna say I, for two different teams. No. He was great Red, though. But, Gretzky. <laughs> no. Adam Graves. Adam Graves. And Rayo Rutzalainen. I should have known Adam Graves though. I should have known Adam Graves. You're right. My bad. Adam Graves yes. and Rayo Rutzalainen. Look at that. Yep. Oh, somebody put it in there. Awesome. All right. All right. What else we got? Got another one here. Uh, okay. <clears throat> this is a good one. I actually like this. Speaking of Chief Steve, I don't believe this question has been asked uh, before, but then again, I could be a little slow on the uptake. Uh, don't worry. Many of our viewers are. Kevin uh, has mentioned several times that growing up in his house, his kitchen table was just like the firehouse kitchen table. My question is, is Chief Steve a good ball buster? He seems pretty serious, but I bet he can fire back when uh, the shit when needed. Thanks for the show from Billy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is he still mm -hmm. in there, Pete? Can you see him? <laughs> uh, he might be in there somewhere. Yeah, he's just you know, being quiet. I got a chicken. He is... If he has time to think about it, he's not good at quick firing. I, I'll give him that. Uh, he's good if he ha if he can think about a good practical joke, or uh, if he has time, or if he gets in his cup and he and he loosens up. But there's the fine line with the cuffs before he becomes the nasty drunk. Once he becomes the nasty drunk, forget nice. it. Nice, no, no good. Oh, yeah. who who was fast? Burn was and, faster, or or Richie? Oh no, Burn's not fast. Nah, no? Richie was fast. Richie was fast, but he had uh, no defense. So if you hit him, you pepping him up a little bit, he would just you put you know you know you punch him up against punch the wall. Yeah, you punch <laughs> him. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, Bates is. But in Chief, the here's, the, here's the thing with Chief Steve, bro. This is the truth. This is the truth. When he would get in his cups before he got over the top, no matter where you are, like if we're coming back from a boss somewhere, he would jump out of the car and run all the way home. <laughs> Just run home. <laughs> Get out of the car. Like you stop Dude, for a you're light. You're giving a lot of information out here, bro. You'd stop wow. at a light. All of a sudden, the door fly open, and there go Chief Steve running down the street, bro. No wonder his ankle was wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> you're giving a lot of information out yeah. there, bro. Yep. All right. Yeah. Uh, can either Kev or Lou cook a firehouse meal? Coming in from Robert Bates in the chat. Come on, oh, yeah. guy. Come on, guy. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, man. 
What, you That's, what was your what was your best each of you? What was your best? I know what Ruffy's was. He made a good seafood white pasta mm. or the shrimps or the shrimp is the clambers. Very nice. <laughs> I made a good pot. Ask Hank. Hank's gonna say my pot roast. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. Ah, look at Chief Steve. I know he'd come in. See, you know what Chief Steve is too? He's also my uh uh what do you call that? Um oh, fact checker. Is. He's my fact checker. By the way, going from an interior attack to an exterior attack is a command decision. I'm making the command. Hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give you a solo for this. Yeah. You're right to your tight uh, shot on this, Kev. Get my hand up his ass for some reason. Hold on. A minute. <laughs> well, he's a little bit. Of a, he's a little bit of a tight ass, you know. There Son, he is. That's a command decision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he frozen. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, shit. I have to, I'm going to try to, I'm going to screenshot that real quick. Jesus. Hilarious. Oh, wow, my God. Wow, look at his face. Uh, uh, come on. Am I back? Come on. Am you, I back? You're better than this, Kev. Am you're I better back? than this? Show Pete what he looked back. like there. That we had to look at him for fucking 20 seconds. Show uh, yeah. him how we had to look at back? Yeah, yeah, you're back. back. Hold on. This is am you. I this is, I'm going to show am you. Back? <laughs> am I back? <laughs> this? Hold on. Hold on. Yes, I'm on my beach. A dirty beach. This is low. This is this is this is you right now, bro. What? This is you. This is what you look like when you don't have Verizon. This is what we have to look at. This. Wow. <laughs> Not good. And even poor Chief Steve's all shot. He's all shot up there. Come on. Yeah. Mamma yeah. mia. All right. No. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Do we have to phone a friend yet? I think so. It's coming up. Get, no, no, no. We're getting close. We're getting close. Oh, we're, not, right. we're not quite there yet. Stand by. <clears throat> Lou and Kevin. Wait, wait a minute. Time out. Back it up. Hank Mole. What? And we made a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Your ass. You used to ask me, Coops, could you make your pot roast tonight, Coops? Coops. Coops. Mm. Make the pot roast. Yeah. Coops. Mm. Make the pot roast, Coops. Good job. Good job with the pot roast, boo. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Lou and Kev. What was your go to <laughs> hand tool that you used to carry in on structure fires coming in from Dan Fowler? The mulligan. I had a, a halogen I changed into a mulligan. It was half mall, half halogen. It had a um, an Olympic bar as the shaft, and I had a, a fork welded on it, a pike, and the end of a mall, and I called it the mulligan. And uh, I actually gave it to Chief Ferran, and I actually asked it back from today, an Indian giver, because I want to hang it up here in a podcast room, seeing that I think it's probably stuffed in his closet. But uh, that was my tool of choice, the mulligan. I had, when I first got on the job, somebody, one of the senior guys in uh, 117 told me to get a knife, but one that you can grab. And I remember going to Home Depot. I think, when, I don't even know how long Home Depot's been around, but they had a foldable linoleum knife. So it stuck out really long on the one side that you could grab it with your gloves. And I had a brass uh, fitting that you could it was always on my jacket here all the time that I could just grab it and take it off and cut whatever I had to cut. I had it for 20 something years. And then I was either out on vacation or something and they sent my jacket to get cleaned and it never came back. Oh, oh my. I lost it. Somebody yeah. robbed it. Oh, huh. Big, big loss. Mm. Danny, mm. somebody stole your linoleum life, Danny. Mm. My linoleum mm. knife, Danny. Mm. 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 Uh, mm. 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 But that's no, a good tool you know what Chief Steve's favorite tool was? Oh his, no. His point of, his point the finger. <laughs> you over there, you over there, you top floor. You get that line over there. You oh, you too much overtime. You no 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 too much overtime. No, oh, no, 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 because I could probably on uh, most doors take one good baseball swing and, and force the door. <laughs> if it was a shitty enough door, but it was long enough too to get good leverage. <clears throat> so I could force doors by myself because a lot of times I was by myself. And it was also tall enough. I could probably, it was heavy, but I could pull some ceilings with it. it got heavy after a while. But oh, Mike Kelly saying his red pen. I'll have you know though, Mike Kelly. <laughs> I don't think Chief Steve has ever written anybody up in his entire career. Really? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. We'll have mm. to ask him. Well, you know what? We might have to ask him now. 
Stand by. I got a question. <laughs> Chief Steve, did you ever write anybody up? You for your white socks. Um, you know, here's here's a here's a question. Ready? Greetings. First of all, uh, I was a thirty. <laughs> you see what he wrote, Coop? What? Who? My brother. You had it for twenty years? Question mark. That's longer than some people had on the job. I'm, I'm not, not naming, naming anyone. anyone. <laughs> wow. You see what happens when he when oh, he has time to wait a minute when he's got time he to think no. about it. And, and he look, said no. he said no. He said no. I told you he never wrote anybody up. See? Oh, bark, all right. no bite. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Greetings. First of oh, all, no. I was a 30-year paid on-call member of the Saginaw Township FD in Michigan. I really enjoy your channel. My question, the FDNY has battalion chiefs and division chiefs, but they also have borough commanders and deputy borough commanders. Uh, where are these commanders stationed? What are their duties? And what incidents... Do they respond to thanks from Ken Kureka? Well, we're gonna do we're gonna do a phone a friend on this. We're gonna phone Chief Steve right phone now. Chief. Mm. We're gonna do a phone a chief, see if we can get him on the show while he's doing his typing. Dink, 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 dink. <laughs> Does he peck? Does he peck around? I think he's a pecker. He's a pecker? <laughs> oh yeah, he's a pecker in more ways than one. Phone a chief. A phone a chief, and here he comes. Let's see if we get him on the show. Can you hear this? Yes, loser boy. Hello. Uh, tell, tell him, <laughs> hey, yes, Chief. Boy. Tell Chief. Tell Chief to turn to turn down the show in the background because oh. we're hearing the show. Turn down the show in the background because we can. Come on, will you? Do I got to explain this to you? Turn down the volume on your computer. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. One second. Tell Chief. Tell Chief. Yes. Uh. It's like when the ra when the people call the radio show, they're like, "Will you turn down your radio?" Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! All right, Pete, shoot him the question. Up. Pete, shoot him the question. All right, but you know, you gotta, you gotta. Uh, it, it was uh, you gotta repeat this to him because he's not gonna be able to hear me. Okay. So just tell him to hold one second. Hold, uh, chief. <clears throat> but <clears throat> okay, the FDNY has battalion chiefs and division chiefs. FDNY has battalion chiefs and division chiefs. But they also have borough commanders and deputy borough commanders. They also have borough commanders and deputy borough commanders. What are these command? Where are these commanders stationed and what are their duties and incidents that they Where are these commanders? What? Stationed and, and what are their duties and what, what are their incidents? Duties at what incidents? You Do they got respond it. to? Take it. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 All right. First of all, he's incorrect. There are no longer any deputy borough commanders. They don't have them anymore. Every borough has just one commander. There's no deputy borough commander any longer. So you have five borough, you have five borough uh, commanders, and then you also have a lot of other staff chiefs that are in different positions. Okay, you have a chief of training, chief of fire prevention, you have chief of ops, assistant chief of ops, you have chief of uh, say, so you have, a, they're either, they can either be assistant chiefs or deputy assistant chiefs. When you first get promoted to staff, uh, you, you get um, two stars, you become a deputy assistant chief, and then <clears throat> if you're promoted again, you become an assistant chief and you're given three stars, and then if you become a uh, like in charge of fire prevention or in charge of training or something like that, you become a four-star chief. Mm -hmm. So uh, as far as the duties, the, uh, the borough duties, uh, administratively, they take care of everything that goes on in the borough from an administrative point of view. And they also take the citywide uh, tour duty one, once every – Depending on how many are in the force, normally about once every 14 days they have to do the uh, citywide coverage, and they can do that depending on their, um, you know, what their normal duties like. The borough, he he can do it from his borough, or he can go down to Metro Tech and do it, either or. But uh, <clears throat> that's where they do it from. Now, um, when you go to a really a greater alarm, a fourth alarm. You might have the chief of department might come in and respond, um, and he'll come basically <clears throat> coming from home, and he'll respond. And he would he would take over operations from the citywide chief that is at you know 
that has taken over the operation from the deputy. So that's basically how that works. There you go. Well, thank you, Chief Steve, for giving us that fascinating. How's his health? If <laughs> how's your? <laughs> Oh, okay. He wants to chime. Hold on. He wants to chime in on the interior exterior attack. It's all yours. Go. Whoever the chief is, whether it's battalion chief or deputy chief or assistant chief, whoever's on on duty for that, uh, he'll make the determination based on what he sees and what he's told from the inside. But that can't be that can't be made by, uh, like I say, unless uh, you know an imminent collapse or something like that. That can't be made by. Uh, a lieutenant or a captain on the inside to go from an interior to an exterior attack. That isn't uh, that kind of decision for a uh, you know company officer. Right. Not for those low level scums. That's for yeah, the I commanders. Gotcha. Just you know because the person that asked that question was looking for a you know uh, an answer and. You didn't like our answer. Well, well, how was well, I said when the chief tells you to get out the building is what my answer was. Yeah, right. When the chief tells you to get out of the building, but I'm just saying it's. They were saying when the question was that the person asked was like, when from the inside do you decide to, to do it? And you, that's really you don't unless it's an emergency <clears throat> situation. Yeah, unless my ass is on fire and I'm bailing out the window too. How about that one? <laughs> Emergency situation. Exactly. Totally an emergency situation. He's right. You know, you can't go. This guy's always on the on the right. He, he, hey, give give him give him this question too. Has a mayor what? ever taken command of a fire in New York City? Has a mayor ever taken command of a fire in New York City? Coming in from Paul Meyenberg. Um, you know, I believe, and I would have to check to, but I believe that the LaGuardia used to come to fires. He was a big buff. And uh, he used to come down and, uh, you know, I mean, <clears throat> really, when you look at it, uh, you know, he really has no actual authority at a fire. But, um, you know, because they have no actual practical experience. So he, he is the mayor. Technically, he is their boss. Yes. But the only one that I can ever remember <clears throat> even reading about was LaGuardia. He used to come to, uh, mm. to some big fires. A big fires for a little midget. He was a little guy. He was a little guy. Yep. He was a little he was smaller than you. Oh. 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 He's not a deep shot. Now you're hurting my feelings. I don't think I've ever heard a short joke in my life. <laughs> Never. You're hurting my feelings. Stop it. Yeah. Mm. That happens, you know? Yes. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you, Chief, Thanks, Chief, for checking in with us. Stay in the chat and, and, and keep uh, putting out your woody banter. I love it. Okay. Okay. All right. I, was, hey, I, I like the clean shaven look on Lou. Yeah, me like too. Guy. Yep. <laughs> oh, he that's Lou. Like that. oh, I don't know if that was Lou. Oh, look at him. Five five head. It's five head Lou now. You don't have a forehead. He's got a five head. Five. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. He's like, Goodbye. all right, Chief Steve. I'll see you soon. All right, thanks for checking in. Phone a friend. Be good. Ah, very nice. Patty, bye -bye. Patty, Patty Lee said that's a low blow. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Chief Steve. Nice, Chief Steve. Nice. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice. I was gonna I was gonna say uh uh what was it gonna have you ask him how his health was doing and all that. What's what's this what's the haps with that, Kev? Oh, he's doing better. He's in the gym, he's walking around, he's uh I mean the only bad thing is now he needs a knee replacement because he put no. so much uh oh yeah, from walking on the bad ankle so many so for so long, <laughs> putting all the weight on his other knee, now he needs a knee replacement. But I think he's gonna wait for the uh the colder winter, the weather for that, he's got to wait. Jesus. So, all right. He's going to have a whole new, he's got new ankles, he's got no knees. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. He's the bionic chief. Yeah. He's going for all the right. other one soon. He's going for the, uh, the edictomy. That's next. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what doctor he's using? Uh, uh, do uh, Dr. Ivan Kachikakov. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. All right, all right. Make <laughs> sure to tip your waiter. You'll be all week. Be here all oh. week. Try the veal. Put up Try, Try the veal. veal. Hey, uh, hello, boys. Last question, by the way. Hello, boys. Big fan of the show and of the apparel. Both are top notch. Thank you, sir. Uh, my question is, what was the worst you guys were ever burned 
or I'm assuming injured at a job. What, when was the job? How big was the job? And how was the road to recovery? Keep up the good work, gentlemen. Stay low and go. Will Drake. Never got burnt really bad. I had a couple of burns on, on my back of my shoulder from the um, Father's Day fire. But other than that, never got really burnt that bad. Same. Nope. I had burns on my neck, mostly shit going down my collar most of the time. I burnt my ears a few times. And I burnt my knees two times. But not... You know, where I was in the burn center, just they give you the silver stuff. <laughs> so you go home and uh, throw this on there, you know, quarters and half dollars, whatever. Mm. Thank God. Very rucky, as my wife's in-laws would say. My in-laws would say, oh, you're very rucky. <laughs> so ruck. You're so rucky. Oh, <laughs> that was it, boys. It? That was everything That's from we the got. Uh... We got no other questions from the... <laughs> Now I feel bad. Yeah, I got Australia. Oh, I got... Salty Bones. Captain Salty Bones from Australia. Oh, hello. Good day. Oi. Captain Salty Bones. Oi. Oi. Sheila. They call all girls Sheila there. Uh, Hank, oh, Hank's got to tell us. He wants to throw his time out there. Rubber boots on the day, uh, boot days on the top of the thighs would get burned. Oh. You know, the old rubber boots back in the day. Malay throw that out there. Nice. Yeah. Um, you know, I did see just to revisit this for the umpteenth time this week in my perusings, I mm. saw le some leather helmets taken a few days ago, a picture taken a few days ago in the FDNY. I guess you they're did. back. I did. I saw I some. Uh, oh. If you go to the uh, fans page, I don't know if you heard of it, uh, but it's getting salty fans on Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. Really? Uh, yeah. And I did see some leather helmets, man. And the guys mm -hmm. were talking about it. Let me see if I could pull that up while we're talking. But um, I did notice. I think some, I deleted uh, that one. <laughs> what from your life or your uh, or your questions? No, no, no I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw. You're talking I about the fan page one. Yeah, but yeah, we, well, we don't have. I don't know if that's uh, you know. Wow, legit. legit. That's approved. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, oh, never, never, never mind. We're posting a picture of something from something that might mm. not be something or something is probably not a something, something, right? Something somebody, idea, you, want somebody to you know see. what I'm saying? Right, right. Wait, so oh, wait that's a minute. What I do. Look wait at me. Look, minute. see this? What's Finger that on the pulse, baby? Oh, so look, Guck, Guck is trying to hook me. Guck is trying to hit me with some short jokes. Come on, Guck, the really? Guck and Ada? Yeah. Wait a minute, he's really upsetting me. I need time. I need a moment. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm good now. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, Come on, Duck. There ain't a goddamn short joke I haven't heard, bro. And you seriously? can come up with one. I'd Everybody's laugh. like, no pictures, no proof. <laughs> it's gone. Exactly. <laughs> Yep. Yes. All right. Yep. Definitely can't find it. Nothing. Never mind. But anyway, that would be nice if they did make a comeback because I saw some on some fire department from some part of the world. Very nice. Well, didn't, very they, didn't they say that they were doing a pilot to have them back on one of the last know. shows? Somebody. I don't yeah. Know. I can't remember what I did yesterday. Me, didn't you just tell me I get pulse? Yeah. My fingers on the that. pulse. What happened? Pulse. That's my pulse. I'm trying to what? stay alive uh, every day. <laughs> Checking a pulse to see if he's alive. He's out there in the canoe. I'm like, oh, all right, I'm still alive. Oh my god! All right, boys, uh, that's us. That's all we got. Oh, I got a shout out, Petey. Yeah, brother, hold on. Let oh, me you got my picture for me? I do. Stand. By. Very happy to see this guy. Uh... Hold on, let me pull that Who's out. Who's that? Right. Oh, Patty oh, Lee, still alive. He's in the chat. There he is. There god go. bless him. There you go. All right, so this is firefighter Tommy O'Shea, lad of fifty-nine. The boogie down celebrated 40 years on the job last night. Wow, on the back step, and he's still going, bro. And that was photos were by uh top floor tactics. So, congrats to him. He uh, he's still doing it. God bless him, getting it done, man. Good for him. 40 years, that's 40 a long goddamn years. time to do that. For crying out loud, oh, yeah, safe the old, out there, boy. The old pipes over there, very cool, nice, man. Awesome. Gonna, yeah. any, any shout outs, bro? No, I don't have any, bro. Did I did I do the shout out for the um I think I did last week for the um GoFundMe? Or am I losing my mind? The one that Chief uh Cleahouse gave me? 
You did, did I do that? I did. You can do it again. I can't find it. I just didn't remember if oh. I did. I told the chief I was going to do it. All right, I did it. And I'm going to yep. do. Uh, uh, wait, I'll do the next one. Uh, we'll do it next time. What do we got uh, Thursday? You guys are going up to the show, right? So we yeah. don't have a show. We'll be at Syracuse. We're back on Monday. Monday and, and then show uh, on Monday. We'll have your uh, fan favorites. So we'll do the salty fans pop quiz from Syracuse. We'll we'll ask the ladies a couple questions, you know. Um, and then we'll just have some fun. Maybe Nikki Coops will get it on it, you know. Oh, we're gonna have a, we got a couple of things planned for my son. Is he, he's not in there, right? All right, we're gonna have a couple of little segments for uh, Nikki Coops, Big, Mr. Big Shot, Mr. Big Britches, you know. Oh, whoa, whoa, yeah. Uh, Shooter One Twenty is asking what night we're going to dinner, dinner in Syracuse. Whatever night you're paying, Shooter. Oh, oh, Pete, look, I couldn't get that out. You had it right there. Whatever night you're paying, shoots, shooty I'll be shoots. Here all week. Try the deal. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, Ruffy, remember the year we took my son to the trade show and his voice was changing. Oh. It's like, oh, we were. Gary, what's oh, on the booth? Is Gary? <laughs> it was like Peter from the Brady Bunch, right? I was Gary. doing that song. I was singing the song. All oh, right, we were singing to this. Change. Change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, are we doing uh, a cup of Joe this week? I don't know. We'd have to do it tomorrow. Uh, not going to be able to process that in time, boys. With all the stuff I got to do tomorrow to pack right. and get going, so. um all right, next week. More of an off-air conversation. All right, fellas. Somebody just asked. Yeah, man. All right. That's all I got. Chief Steve, thanks for coming on. You're a hell of a fella. He's a good yeah, guy. Yeah, Chief fella. Steve. That He's a good awesome. guy, that Chief Steve. I'm going to put him Chief back. Steve. It was so much back. fun. You well, know what I'm going to do? We got to come up with a Chief Steve song while we're gone. I that's what we'll do. We were, trying, we were trying that on the last road trip, and we just kind of got tired of it. But uh, how many hours is it to Syracuse? We'll, we'll call Six. I think it's six. Six? We'll come up with it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And it's time to change. All right, fellas. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to send your shit into uh, Coop's podcast for the uh, Cup of Joe Fuego. Send the uh, the questions for the wives. We'll get Chief Steve's wife on again. We'll get the lovely Felicia Zivkovic on there. And we'll get uh, good old Ellie Coops. She's nervous. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, my, my mother or your wife? My wife is nervous. Uh, what are they going to ask what? me? I don't understand. <laughs> You're the producer, yeah. for God's sakes. Calm it down, would you? I, yeah, I, listen, I, I told her. I told her. No. Rub it with hot oil. Peter, no Jew jokes, Peter. No <laughs> jokes about my Oh, my people. God. We got to prepare her for that. It could be bad. What, the Jew jokes? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Ah, listen, What's my going wife on, can, young My lady? wife could take the Asian jokes, you know. Ah, she, she could deal with it. She'll yeah, be fine. She's good. All right, so All right, last but not least, guys, again, iTunes podcast, Spotify, wherever fine audio podcasts are found. If you're on your way to the gym, if you want to listen to the show instead of having to watch it on YouTube, um, just remember to subscribe there and, and uh, share it out with your friends. Or if you're here on YouTube, guys, hit the like, subscribe, and share button again. It really helps us out a lot. That's the main thing. Getting as many subscribers on the show and getting the word out to people uh you don't even have to phone a friend just post it man maybe uh post the link hey, i like the show helps us out a ton go to instagram if you like to see salty fire photos in your feed at salty dog inc <laughs> guys getting salty apparel.com i want to hear what you're laughing about in one second getting salty apparel.com is where you find all the cool firefighter gear and apparel Thank you to everyone who hit us up in the super chat tonight. And guys, head on over to the Getting Salty fans page where you will allegedly find pictures of leather helmets that were allegedly worn by an alleged group in an alleged fire, uh, in an alleged uh, fire scene. <laughs> fire allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Uh, and then last but not least, guys, if you have questions for shows just <laughs> like this one, shoot us an email at gettingsaltyexperience at gmail.com. Done. Mm. Uh, and, what are you uh, laughing about? What's going on in that? I'm watching that fat daddy telling, "Hey, please wake up tomorrow." <laughs> Holdy's saying that we got to go to Diamond Dolls in Syracuse if it's still open. Oh, uh, we'll check it out. We'll bring Ray you on. down about a half a bottle, I think. Syrac yeah, Syracuse Strip Club would be. Uh, uh we'll bring young Nikki Kubler in there. He's ah. 20 years old. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There's the go. Beat the uh, GoFundMe. Could you put that up from uh, Chief there. Cleahouse to GoFundMe help the Chief Cleahouse. Oh yeah, uh, Chief. It's uh, GoFundMe is help the mucus recover. Help the M U K A S recover. Beautiful. All right. 
Awesome, fellas. We'll uh, catch you on the next show, man. Stay low and go. All right, we'll see you at the big one. Have a good week. See you at the show, boys.